Welcome everyone, one and all, to our next installment of the Vampire Diaries. Now, I just wanted to come in here quick to give you a little bit of an update on uploads and Patreon content, because I feel like it's been a while since we've had a little talk. Now, basically, I, I think we can all agree that this year, my uploads over here on YouTube have just not been it. It's been very sporadic, very long wait times between episodes, and I do apologize for that. I never meant to get to that point. It was just... A lot of things happened at the start of the year and towards the middle, and it was it was just a shit year overall, I'm going to be completely honest. So, it's not quite been it, but next year, my god, I have such a fire lit under my little ass that I am so ready to get, like, fully into uploading again and having multiple shows come out weekly because it's what I've always wanted to do. Like, this has always been one of my favorite things to do ever do on the planet react to tv shows and talk about it with you guys and have a discussion about what some of my favorite pieces of media but i think i just let it go this year but all of that being said i did want to quickly update that for those of you unaware i have been consistent on patreon all year so unfortunately we have done shows that are currently exclusive to patreon and also we are very far ahead on the shows that we have done on here which again i am sorry for so for the vampire diaries i am going to this week be recording the finale to season six we are also recording the finale to season two of the originals. We are recording the whole series finale of Merlin because I've basically done that entire show over there without even touching it on here yet, which I am going to soon. That is definitely on my list. And we are also, I can't remember exactly where, I believe we're about episode six on Teen Wolf in season one. So if you are down for any of that, they're all available over there, but I will be releasing them over here. I'm going to be getting into more consistent weekly uploads for all four of those. We also have that we're not going to be getting into right now, maybe in the future. We do also have the entire show of His Dark Materials, if that is of inter interest to you over on Patreon. I've recorded all of the seasons, they're all up, so if you fancy that, head over there. But yeah, just wanted to come here to have a little update, a little talk with you guys. I'm going to be trying to do it this week, trying to get some episodes out for all four of them. If it doesn't work out, because obviously Christmas is at the start of next week, then trust and believe that week or the week after, that's when you're going to start to see the consistent, these are the days that this comes out, and then it's going to follow every week after, you know? But yeah, thank you very much for your patience this year. I know it has not been very nice seeing the huge wait times between episodes, and I do apologize for that, but trust and believe that is going to be a thing of the past, especially in 2024. That is my bloody goal. But yes, anyway, I hope you've all had a fantastic week, fantastic day, and I hope you've all got a really nice Christmas to look forward to. And yeah, with that said though, I believe I've talked for long enough, so I will let you get back to watching the Vampire Diaries, which you're actually here for. <laughs> and yes, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye. Oh shit, that's Damon. I thought that was Stefan in the bloody Forbes cellar. I forgot they didn't capture him. Uh-oh. Oh, hello, Stefan. What the hell happened to you? Whatever twisted ripper game this is. Leave me out of it. It is not a ripper game. It is a ghost game, my boy. Now, in relation to Mason, I feel like this witch has moved on and she's trying to find other people that she can use to come back and then take out klaus to balance nature which in effect will be taking out elena which hmm that's gonna be a hard one to deal with because they're gonna have to find some way to vanquish this witch if she's gonna keep doing this because there are so many ghosts that she can latch onto. yeah not to worry just untangle myself okay then interesting uh-oh <laughs> stefan I know his emotions are turned off, but fucking hell. As a longtime member of the Historical Society, I am especially proud to be kicking off this day of festivities. You guys know how I fucking feel about this town's festivals. Like, can you fucking stop? How do you have the budget to throw this shit? After the founders stole from all the vampires. <laughs> they placed lamps so above their doors. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awkward. Right, okay. This is where the issue is. It's like I was saying last episode. I was getting annoyed at Bonnie because she was getting jealous and all of that and being annoyed at Jeremy for hanging out with Anna, which at the time I was not agreeing with because at that moment they had not done anything. They were just talking and Anna helped Jeremy and that was that. But I think that this is the point where it's a bit like, Jeremy, what the fuck are you doing? Like either you talk to Bonnie about it and you explain what's happening and your mixed feelings, or you sort your feelings out yourself and figure out what you want. 
you cannot just keep doing this. You can't have Bonnie with you and then just be hanging out with Anna without Bonnie knowing. Do you know what I mean? It's fucked up. It's cheating. Jeremy's still got a direct line to the other side. And as long as he wants to see Anna, she wants to see him. She's still here. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I went against the balance of nature when I brought Jeremy back to life, and now I'm paying the consequences. Well, I want you to say you're not okay with it. And a thousand yeah. times not okay with it. I just don't know what to do about it. It is a tricky one because as the girlfriend, she's going to be blaming herself because it's her reason that it's her fault that Jeremy can see all of this. But that does not mean it's her fault that Jeremy's currently standing over there holding Anna's hand. Do you know what I mean? Like, you got to cut yourself some slack, Bon. I'm pretty sure I just got spit roasted by Mason Lockwood's ghost. What? Oh, okay. So he knows it's Mason. Maybe because he chained me to a chair and shoved a hot poker in my chest. Yeah. Nice. Well done. I thought you said that ghosts couldn't physically interact with people. They can't. Yeah, well, I don't have time for vengeful Lockwood when I can't. I think it's this witch. I think this witch has moved on to Mason now. She's trying her hardest to get rid of Klaus. I've been going through Stefan's old journals. Every single time that he's gone off the rails in the past, his best friend Lexi's been the one to bring him back. So where is she now that we need her? Oh my god, are we actually going to contact Lexi? Oh, please. I'm really excited for that. But anyway, also, I was going to say, Elena looking through these journals, Han... Like, I get trying to bring him back and you're going to try your hardest, but that gets to a certain point where you're getting a bit obsessive. And I understand why, don't get me wrong, trying to get a boyfriend back from being this murderous monster. But, uh, yeah, she's got to live her life as well. And if she's going to spend the next 10 years of her life trying to get Stefan back... You want me to try to reach her, don't you? I thought if I knew how she did it, maybe I could help him. I don't even know if she's on the other side. Oh, she will be. Anna said it, it's like being here with all of us, only we can't see her or hear her. Vicky had help from a witch on the other side. Exactly. Anna, she's doing this all by herself. Yeah, I didn't actually think of that with Anna. Sorry I keep pausing. I'm so sorry, but I keep having thoughts and I just want to get them out. I didn't even think about the fact that Anna's doing this without the help of the witch. So far as we know, we don't know if Anna is helping the witch, which is a little bit scary. But I would assume that Anna is doing this all on her own. It's just, it doesn't add up right when Bonnie's got all these grimoires and all this knowledge and she's saying that ghosts can't interact. It doesn't look good for Anna, but I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt for the moment. I sent her back like you told me to. Are you sure? Why do you think it's Vicky and not Mason? Because if any ghost other than Vicky Donovan has a physical foothold on our side, then that means Damon's right and something has gone really, really wrong. Exactly. Way, this didn't... Anna couldn't actually interact with Jeremy until Vicky was gone. Maybe it is something that went wrong. Okay, did your grimoire just... I, I think so. It's the witch, isn't she? Isn't it? I think she's going to show us something. It's a manifestation spell. It's used to reveal veiled matter. What's <gasps> Like veiled a matter? ghost. Ghosts. Aw, oh, sick! Sick! Is Anna here right now? Don't tell her I'm here. She won't like it. No. no I'm gonna go uh, check my work schedule. Don't lie to your sister, Jeremy. This is a very bad path to go down. If you go down the path of lying when Anna's around, it looks even worse. Hey, guys. Who forgot to invite me to the family summit? Hmm? Oh, shit, she's got his journals out. You know, Elaine, it's probably best you not torture yourself with memories from the past. You don't have to be here, Stephanie. You know what, Alaric, you're right. I don't. <clears throat> but Elena's here, and I look out for Elena. <laughs> Besides, there's going to be people everywhere tonight, so there's going to be lots to eat. Oh, God, that's awful. Just when I was thinking in my head, this Stefan is actually, uh, like, is a bit more attractive than the other Stefan. I'm not going to lie to you. He goes and says that. <laughs> what's wrong? Why did you tell me to lie? Yeah, yeah, what's her ulterior motive here? This witch on the other side that gave Vicky her foothold, is she helping you now? What? Yeah, that was no. my thought. I'm all alone, Jeremy. I told you that. Swear to me. I swear. I'm not any danger to you or anybody. I promise. Well, it's just, it looks dodgy when you're asking him to lie that you're there, love. I need you to believe me. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Nice one, Jeremy. Thank you for actually coming to your senses. Then send me away. I'm only here because you want to be with me as much as I want to be with you. So awkward. Send me away, Jeremy. It's that easy. Right. You know what? Bonnie cast this spell right now. Then everyone can see Anna and she can stop messing with your boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know why this is happening or when it's going to stop. But before it's done, I have to do this. Don't you dare kiss her. You're in a relationship. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I've drawn the line. I've drawn the line. I know I've been talking some shit saying that 
I don't like the way that Bonnie has been, but then I don't really like that Jeremy's doing stuff. This has fully crossed the line, Jeremy. No, 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 no. You do not go and kiss, to kiss a girl when you're in a relationship. I know this is more complicated and this girl is a ghost and he is also an ex of Jeremy's that passed away, all stuff like that, but you are currently with Bonnie. This is not okay. And if you don't tell her about this, I fucking will jump in the show and do it myself. Dude, I'm so excited. Right, Jeremy. I wonder if it's gonna reveal like all of the ghosts. Imagine if Isabel turns up. Oh, or John. Oh my God, is that your cramps? Oh, oh my God, I didn't even think of that. Oh, her, oh my god, I need a moment. Oh my god. That actually sent like goosebumps up my body. Oh, that's so that that wasn't even a possibility in my head. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Anna? Oh shit. How many ghosts are we gonna see? Is it her? Is it her? You're dead. Oh, technically, so are you. Then how the hell can I see? Jamie? Yeah, I have no idea. And I have no idea how long it's going to last. So let's get right to the point. Oh, here we go. You're off the rails. Big time. Good. Well done, Lexi. Sort him out. I don't want your help. I don't want to get better. Leave me alone. Well, maybe you should listen this time. Or maybe I should do this. <laughs> nice one, hun. Oh, I'm so happy all these people are back. Now, stop your crying. We don't have time for tears. Nice to see you again, Caroline. Hi, Miss Sheila. Aww. There's an old witch over here. She took advantage of it. She took advantage of you, honey. Yeah. When you did that spell to send Vicky Donovan away, she wedged the door wide open, giving a free pass to anybody with unfinished business. Shit. What does the witch want? That's original vampire business, not yours. I don't want you getting in the middle of that. Okay, right. I, I assume that this witch is the original witch then, because she's talking about... There's a witch on the side that's angry, and we know that the original witch was part of the, um... Uh, she was the one who cast the ritual spell, wasn't she? To stop Klaus from having his powers. So she would obviously be pissed off with Klaus for being alive. God, it's just so crazy having Bonnie's grandmother back. She was here for such a little time, but having this old witch that knew all of these spells and had all of this knowledge of the past just be taken from Bonnie's life was so sad. So even for them to just, and obviously being her grandmother and well, as well, even just having these few moments together is so beautiful to see. Apparently the old witch can draw power from this side because of her talisman. The necklace. I just walked in on Jeremy kissing the reason I'm completely okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that. I love that. Now. That's like, it it's one of those moments. Sorry, I keep pausing. I'm so sorry. I've, why is my brain going a hundred miles today? But I just love the idea that even though that's her brother, she is Bonnie's best friend. And watching her brother cheat on her best friend with his old ex, just like, oh, I love that so much. How did this happen? I don't know. Okay, I, I don't know. It just, it did. Elena, please. You can't tell Bonnie. Uh, I think she can and she should. Looks like today was a good day to be thinking about me, Elena. Hell yeah. Come with me. Where? Ripper Detox 101. Crash course. Oh, I love this so much. Let's go. Elena's gonna be a bit torn now. She won't want to break the necklace until she knows everything to um, save Stefan. You know your nephew was turned into a mindless hybrid minion. That's why I'm here. To help Tyler. <laughs> well, sorry to break it to you, buddy, but Tyler can't be helped. Yeah, how are you gonna help Tyler? What's your plan here? What do you know? I know you need to apologize. You gotta be kidding me. Are you incapable of remorse? Just apologize. I didn't have to kill you. I do a lot of things I don't have to do. Where's the sorry? <laughs> Meet me at the old Lockwood cellar. Bring a shovel. You're gonna bury me alive? Don't tempt me. I'm loving this episode so far. Klaus really did a number on him, huh? He compelled him to turn off his humanity. Well, we're just gonna have to convince him to turn it back on. Is that even possible? First step, drying him out. Starve away the bloodlust. Strip away the temptation. Oh God. What are you doing? What the fuck? What is she doing? Doing what I do best, sweetness. I'm saving your life. 
Oh my god, what is she doing? Interesting, what the fuck is going on? I hope they explain it. If not, can someone tell me down below? Because what? Nice. I wonder if there are any other secrets down there. Like, not just the weapon. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. Let me out! Let me out! Please let me out. What's happening? He's hallucinating. That's three months without any blood. So, oh my god. That's so smart. She can literally, like, put him into a bit of a trance of thinking that trans, trans. Oh, I cannot say that word. Put him into a thingy-mabob to act as though he has been months without it. Wow. That, that is insanely smart, Lexi. Lexi's here and she's helping with Stefan. Okay, well, let's just find it first and then we'll choose between boyfriend ghost dramas. What are you talking about? Lexi's back, so Elena wants us to hold off on destroying the necklace. You said boyfriend dramas, plural. Oh, Bonnie, I was hoping you wouldn't pick up on that. Oh, fuck. Elena caught Jeremy kissing Anna. What? Caroline! Oh, I know that, like, I'm not annoyed at Caroline for saying in the sense that Caroline had the right to say and all that, but I was just hoping that Jeremy would be the one that could tell her, because now it's even worse. Hey, man, sorry about that. No problem, buddy. Oh, no. Have you seen Tobias Bell? He's supposed to do the lighting ceremony. No. Oh, this man hates founding families as well. Uh-oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What is he gonna Mr. do? Mr. Bell seems to have been detained, so the history department's very own Mr. Saltzman has agreed to fill in. Oh, he's been detained? Well, I feel like he's dead. I feel like someone killed this man. And this guy hates founding families, and that guy had a last name fell. Hey, is everything all right? Ask your ancestors. What are you doing here, Frederick? Well, it's a founder celebration. Oh, no, there's multiple of them. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so gruesome. Like, for a small town to witness that. Fuck me. Don't listen. Shut him out. I am helping you, Stefan. I'll do anything. I'll change. That's what we're doing here, my boy. I'm sorry. Lie. That's what we're doing He'll here. He'll say anything right now. Lena, I love you. Okay? I love you. I love you so much. I mean, it's obvious that he's saying stuff just to get to Elena right now and make her release him, but... I think Elena just needs to focus on the idea that she's met Lexi and Lexi has done this before and Stefan still considered Lexi his best friend after she's done this to him in the past. So Elena's got to understand that if this works and this gets us back to old Stefan, he'll be appreciative that you've done it. I will rip you apart, Lexi. You can't. I'm already dead. <laughs> Thing is, once Lexi goes, because we know this is going to take a while to get Stefan back, once Lexi goes, Elena won't be able to do this. Maybe Damon can? Oh, I'm really scared. I don't like the silence. Oh, this is going to convince Elena to just buy the bullet and to break the necklace. I give up. It's not anywhere in this room. <laughs> Don't think she wants to talk to you right now, mate. You might want to find that necklace before they start going alphabetically through the founding families. Well, it's not where it's supposed Caroline's to be. one of them. Unless someone took it. Who? Well, who do you think? No. Anna. I didn't take it, Jeremy. You know, yeah, oh, yeah, I do darling, believe darling, I'm so sorry, but I don't believe you at all. Is she gone? Anna, you sneaky little cow. Your motive is acceptably pure. Talk yeah, talk. yeah. Do anything for your brother. Be fair, when it comes to Mason, I remember saying this when he died. Mason himself didn't do a lot wrong because he didn't... Like, the only reason that Mason went after Stefan and Damon is because they went after him first. And the only reason that Mason was hunting all of this is because he was in love. And Catherine got inside his head, as she does with many people, and made him think that he was helping the woman that he loves. Do you know what I mean? He didn't do any of this with malicious intent. So I don't think you could say that Mason trying to help Tyler out and get him away from this whole sire shit is necessarily out of character. You have trust issues. Anyone ever tell you that? Literally. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, Vervain laced wooden stakes. Help him, brother, help. 
Mason. Mason. Mason better be coming back. Okay, we have to get it back. We have to destroy it and then close the door. I know, but... But what? What, Jer? Are you asking us not to close the door? I can touch her, Elena. I can kiss her again. And I know it's wrong. And I, I know that I shouldn't feel this way, but I do. You're also in a relationship, mate. I love her. Fuck me. This is so confusing. She's dead. Gone. Everything that you're holding on to is in the past, Jer. Are you going to love a ghost for the rest of your life? Literally. He's at the beginning of his life, Anna. Just holding him back. You know that. Well done, Elena. She definitely needed to hear that, and so did Jeremy. Call Bonnie. Tell her that you have a necklace. Get her to send the ghosts away. It's like, I understand why Anna did it. I feel like... I feel like... If anyone else was in that situation, they would do the same. You would hold on to whatever you can to try and stay in this life. Sorry. Thought you might need this. Gonna have to pull him out. What's your game, man? I jammed my fist in your chest and ripped your heart out. I genuinely just don't think he's a bad guy. I can't change what happened to me, but maybe I can change what happens to Tyler. Jeremy's got the necklace. He's gonna meet us at the witch house. I do not like that you two are currently in a car. <gasps> That's Mrs. Lockwood's car. <gasps> shit. 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 I'm gonna get out of the car. What? And you're gonna drive the hell away from here. No way, I'm not leaving you. Bonnie, you've got your ghost boyfriend drama. Elena has hers. And right now, the mother of mine is about to be ghost bait. Yeah, exactly. This is Tyler's mommy. <laughs> she needs to protect her. This doesn't have to be goodbye. No. But it should be. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. I'm sorry I took the necklace. I just thought with all the two vampires out that maybe. You might find your mother. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I don't want to be alone anymore. Forgive me. Aww. You're not going to be alone. I'm not going to let you be alone. Like, literally through all of this, I haven't really blamed Anna because I think the one to blame for cheating and all shit like that would be Jeremy. Because Anna's literally just grasping for every fucking thing that she can right now. And it's so understandable. We're running out of time. You gotta give me more. I can't. No, no. Not until I break through. I can't, Lexi. They have the necklace. They're going to close the door. The necklace. No. Lexi, no. You found it during your darkest time. And you said when you made it through that that necklace represented hope. Ironic then that it's about to get blown to pieces. By the way, I screamed no because I thought that she was going to go and take it. Ah. Oh, shit. It's not happening. Locked from vampires. I'll let you know what I find. Yeah, but looks like you're going to have to trust me. <laughs> like he's not invited in, but this isn't a someone's home, though. Unless it was someone's home in the past. But then no, because someone has to live there right now, which is even scarier. Oh, Jeremy, you stupid bastard. Don't you dare touch her, you twat. Oh, okay. What'd you find? It, it's... <laughs> oh, what is it? Fuck. Bye, Lexi. It's okay, Lexi. I know what to do now. You can be free. Time to move on, my darling. <gasps> oh, she found her! Fucking hell, mate. I'm so proud of you. Fucking hell, mate. That got to me, that did. Oh, I need a minute. Oh. God, it was like saying goodbye to all of them again. So sad. But luckily, a lot of them found their peace. Mason managed to show them where the dagger was to help Tyler. Lexi managed to show Elena how to save Stefan. Anna got to find her mom. And they can hopefully move on together in peace and... Bonnie got to say goodbye to her grams properly, which is beautiful, and have her say that she's proud of her and that she's strong. Like, wow. 
Oh, the show, mate. <sighs> Fucking love it. Other than Elena, you're pretty much the only one I trust. Well, you have a crappy way of showing that. Look, if Mason <laughs> Lockwood can get over the fact that I killed him, can't you cut me a little slack, Rick? I shouldn't have to get over it. I was your friend, Damon. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. Well, sometimes I do things I don't have to do. That's not an apology. You're going to recycle that same crap-ass apology you gave Mason Lockwood? Literally. Yeah, well, I didn't mean it with him. He's got such a fucking charm to him. It's so hard to be angry. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, but I didn't mean it with him. It's like, ah, oh, you bastard. He's going to stand there waiting for me to dry out. No, I'm going to go home. Take care of my brother. Be a friend of Bonnie and everything else that I have to do. You know, I was wondering when you were going to give up. She's not giving up, mate. I haven't given up, Stefan. I still have hope. But there's nothing that I can do until you get yours back. Exactly. Hey. Careful, love. He can bite you, you can break that. through this. Feel something, anything, Stefan. Helena, careful. Because if you don't, you're going to lose me forever. I won't love a ghost for the rest of my life. Wow, what a line. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I actually love that line so much. Matt let go of his sister before you let go of Anna. His sister, Jeremy. You know what you owe me? The respect of not making me listen to you explain yourself. Nice one. Stand up for yourself. Well done, Bonnie. Go, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out. There's a huge difference in Jeremy still being in love with the girlfriend that died, because that is so fucking understandable, and you should never expect someone to get over something like that. Like, she literally died. But... There's a huge difference between that and then having the ability to touch her and be with her and kiss her and all of that while you have a girlfriend and going through with it. I don't give a shit if it's not going to last and she's just a ghost or stuff like that. You betrayed Bonnie's trust and you betrayed Bonnie and didn't give her the respect that she deserves. So I'm 100% with her on, on this. <sighs> shit, is the witch contacting her? Did she not break it after all? <gasps> oh no. What is it? Ooh. I have no idea. Ooh, he's a history teacher though. He'll be able to figure this out. I wonder if next episode is going to be a bit of a flashback. I hope it is. But if it's original vampire... Oh, are we going to get the flashback of the original vampires? Like actually find out the history? That would be fucking sick, mate. I'm pretty sure I saw... The, we, I remember I was looking through Netflix on season three, not looking through, but I was going to press the episode a couple episodes ago. And I saw like a, the thumbnail that they had used for one of the videos was um, Klaus in a sort of historic outfit, like it was in the past. So I would assume that that is related. Sick. Now I'm sure this is going to shock some people, but that was my favorite episode so far in the season. And I know that for some people that'll be a bit like, what? Because there wasn't huge action going on. There wasn't huge development to the story and it didn't even feature Klaus and all of that. But any storyline that brings ghosts back in a positive way, like for instance, Bonnie's grandmother, and allows them to get their unfinished business said and to find out from them that they love you and are proud of you and everything you have done since they passed, it's just, there's nothing that can be more beautiful than that. And I just wish that that was a possibility in real life, but obviously it isn't. And I don't know, that's just one of my favorite supernatural storylines. The ability to talk to people that have passed and to know that they love you and are proud of you. Now, before I get into the actual details of the episode, I do want to apologize to my patrons and everyone else that I won't be able to do Patreon question times at the end of this video because I haven't posted the previous one yet. They're both going up at the same time. But to all my patrons, if you do want to ask questions about the episode and I don't end up answering them in the outro, then be sure to drop them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. But yes, into the actual episode itself. Let's talk about Bonnie and Jeremy first because that is what is on my mind. I was very annoyed at Bonnie last episode because I was getting frustrated with her that she was getting so jealous and so against Anna because Anna hadn't done anything wrong at that point and her and Jeremy were just talking like two people would and she was sharing information, important information. There wasn't any relationship, there wasn't any kissing, there wasn't any hand-holding, none of that. It was just her sharing information with Jeremy and trying to keep him safe. So it was pissing me off that Bonnie was getting jealous. However... This episode, Bonnie has every right to be jealous and every right to be fucking pissed at Jeremy because there is a huge difference. And I tried to say this in the episode. There's a huge difference between loving someone who has died and 
keeping that love with you for the rest of your life if you can't expect any more of anyone else. You cannot be with a partner who has had their partner pass away and expect them to not love them anymore. It's just, it's not a thing. You can't expect that from someone. It's so uncalled for. However, having the ability to meet them again and then betraying the trust of your current partner, that's where I draw the line. And that's fucked up. Because you are currently with Bonnie. Yes, you loved Anna in the past. And yes, you've got a moment where you can actually talk to her and go through a lot of other stuff. But you do not hold her hand. You do not kiss her. You just live in the moment. You share stories. You have a catch up. You express that you still love each other. But you are in a relationship now. You have tried your hardest to move on. And unfortunately, Anna is not there. And she can't be there. Even now. She, Like Elena was saying, Anna is only holding you back to your past. You need to allow Jeremy to grow. And can I just say... I'm not annoyed at all with Anna. I think absolutely every person alive would do exactly what Anna did. They would go for the person that they loved. They would just want to be with them because they're alone and they've watched this person for so long and now they finally have the chance to interact with them. And they've got all of these feelings from the past that are still bottled up and they haven't moved on. They can't move on. They're currently stuck in fucking limbo. So I think to expect Anna to not want to be with Jeremy and not to... Just, it wasn't so much, I don't think Anna even had on her mind that she was breaking up Bonnie and Jeremy, because I think Anna knew all along that it wouldn't last. I think Anna was just trying her hardest to latch onto anything she could at the time. And then speaking of the moment where her and her mum got to find each other, hug each other, and move on together was so fucking beautiful. Like, I was at that point already a bit like, oh, like, people are going, this is sad. And then that fucking broke me. That got my eyes teared up. I just, I don't know what it was. There was just something about Anna and... I even loved Pearl, to be honest. There was something about those two characters that I loved so much. And just to have them taken from us so quickly, like Pearl was just gone within like 10 seconds. And then Anna being killed by John was such a heartache and such a shitty scene to watch just because you know what it would mean for Jeremy considering he had already lost Vicky. That to see them both come back, know that they have found each other again and got to say goodbye. Because Anna didn't even get to say goodbye to Pearl. She came home to her already dead. So knowing that they got that moment and they can actually move on in peace together is so fucking beautiful. Now, moving on, let's talk about Lexi. What a fucking babe. Like, I don't have a bad word to say about Lexi. She spent so much of her life bringing Stefan back from this point and her sitting there and taking all of that shit that he was talking because she knows that that's not him and she knows that this will get him back is just, you can't ask for a better friend. That is a true best friend. She doesn't give a shit what he's saying to her. She knows that this will help him and he will thank her in the end. So she is doing it anyway. And the fact that she's given Elena this like toolbox as a way to help Stefan is even better. And then speaking of Elena, her relationship with Stefan is, it's an interesting one. I don't know what her plan of action is from this point. I feel like she should recruit Damon to do what Lexi was doing, but be there as well. So Damon does the stabbing, but Elena does the talking. Cause I, I don't know if Damon will be able to bring Stefan back simply because I don't know if Damon knows the right things to say. So I think it'll be good to have them as like a good double team in there. Maybe even Caroline. You just need a vampire to like have the strength to keep stabbing Stefan because you need to get him to feel the pain to get through to his emotions. Now let's talk about Mason. I found him to be a really interesting one because in my opinion, Mason didn't really do much wrong. He tried to kill Damon and Stefan, which yes, very bad, but he only did that because Damon betrayed him and went behind his back and tried to kill him. So it's understandable why he would want to get revenge. And then also he did a lot of the stuff he did out of love for Catherine, which... Ugh, he didn't know any better, so we can't blame him for that, but for fuck's sake, Catherine. So when you truly think about it, he didn't do anything with malicious intent. He did a lot of stuff just to protect his family and protect himself. And then for him to say that you're alone on the other side, just watching all of the people that you love move on with their lives, and you're just sitting there regretting all of the actions that you've done, it's so understandable that he would put it past him because he's coming back for this one moment to try and help people. He's not going to waste it trying to get revenge. What's the, what's the point? of getting revenge. What is the point? It doesn't add any good to your life and it just makes the other person's life more shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't get the good outcome out of that. Yes, people see it as like a, haha, your life is shit as well, but I just, I don't, I don't know. 
I agree with Mason in that he's got these few moments that he can actually help Tyler. Why would he waste it by taking revenge on Damon? So yeah, like I said, fantastic episode. Probably my favorite of the season. We had a few storylines that weren't developed this, this episode. We didn't see Klaus. We didn't see Rebecca and Tyler. And we did end off, was it last episode that we ended off with Rebecca forcing Tyler to drink from a human? So I'm excited to see that development. Uh, we didn't get any more Michael which I was, I, I'm a bit sad about because I wanted to see what happened after he drank from Catherine because I'm just, I'm so intrigued to find out what the diet of drinking from vampires is like compared to drinking from humans. Like, does it affect his abilities? Does it affect how often he has to feed? Does it affect how good he feels after he feeds? There's just so many different questions I have. Also very excited to find out what this new weapon is and what that mural on the wall is going to be. Like I said, I've seen the thumbnail of a future episode and I know that we have a flashback coming up. So could be next episode. Fingers crossed it is because I fucking love those. But yes, like I said, another fantastic episode and I'm excited for the next. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We'll be able to find the early and uncut reactions to the Vampire Diaries and all the other shows that I do. I've also left a link to my Twitch, Discord and my socials. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And Jess, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.